Good morning. Good morning. Do not mind me. It's Sunday morning at 5 a.m. and I'm just trying to turn this into TV news anchor hair. Or wait, no. The show's at 5 a.m. It's 4 a.m. now. You guys know how everyone in the news is absolutely perfect, right? Right? We don't ever mess up. Except, <laughs> spoiler alert, we mess up all of the time. But the mess ups result in TV news bloopers and the internet loves them. One of mine, I got some emails, people telling me that it recently was on a viral YouTube. So I just thought, hey, why not show you some of my favorites? This one isn't that big of a deal, but <laughs> it was so awkward in the moment. This is the one that got posted on YouTube. Number one. So joining us this morning is the social and emotional program instructor for that program, Hannah Hotchkiss, with information about all of these classes. Good morning, Hannah. Hannah, can you hear us? Good morning. I'll try one more time. Hannah, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hannah. Hi. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? It looks like we were having a little bit of an audio issue there. How are you this morning? <laughs> good. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, I have a break. I'm going to go turn the heat up in the studio. So that video, yeah, that was a Zoom interview. And I think the woman just had it on mute. She couldn't hear me. This is also the best part of being a solo anchor is I just crank the heat in the studio. It's amazing. Every second on TV by yourself that it's awkward feels so long. So it felt so awkward, but I mean, not the biggest deal, just kind of funny. This next blooper, <laughs> this is from almost two years ago. This is one of my favorites. I actually was going through my videos and I forgot about this one. I had a live shot at the zoo. I wanted nature to be cute and nature decided to just be nature. Number two. Feel these ones right here. So cool. Okay, can we take a look outside too, Troy, if you can look out there? You can actually see some of the bigger kangaroos like acting with each other right now. Um, those two big ones. Those are big males. They're, uh... Oh my gosh. How cool is that? You can see them. They're using their tails like that to stand up. I mean, that's Everybody how they that's they good yes. Okay. <laughs> and um, that's how they fight? Yep. That's how they fight. <laughs> I also like the title fight going on outside. If you can get some more pictures of that. That's fantastic. Did you see that jab? I know. So One of them you got caught looking. <laughs> Thank you. Five minutes. It is 5.51. We'll see all of you after this quick break. All right, I have another break. So yeah, nature's finest right there. I remember we wanted that shot to be so cute and the zoo, come visit the zoo. Kangaroo started fighting, ended up even better. See that, Jack? You saw one of our anchors, Avery, in there. We got caught looking. <laughs> He's hilarious. It just made it even better. Number three, you hate to see it. Sarah Grimmer joins us live from Reed's We'll Lake be live on TV for two minutes and off in East Grand Rapids. Can she hear us? I don't know if she Sarah, can hear us. Sarah, can you hear us? <sighs> Hey, good morning, you guys. So local attorney Tom Sinus says... Okay, so for that story, I was getting ready to go live right before we went live. We were on the lake because we were doing a water story. Hi. <laughs> I'm talking to this camera. I need to grab my laptop charger. This woman came by. She was getting her kayak ready to go in the water, and some people, I mean, they're just not excited to see the news. She was not enthused at our presence. My thing's falling down. I'm a mess. This woman, right before we went live, was yelling at me kind of down the lake. What are you doing? I don't want to be on TV. And I was trying to tell her nicely, oh no ma'am, you are not going to be on TV. I'm such a mess right now. We're gonna be on TV for just a second. By the time we're on and off, you won't even be in the water yet. While I was telling her that, my producer also didn't tell me I was about to be live. So, I mean, you saw it. The anchors. Tossed out to us. I'm telling this woman she's fine. It all worked out okay. This next one was actually at a live shot for Food Fight Fridays, a segment that we used to do before COVID. We are out here live with the Greenville Yellow Jackets. They are coming for the Food Fight Friday trophy. We were in the middle of the interview. This guy was so nervous to be on TV. He had all his friends watching. They always watch the morning show here. Um, and then this happened. He is the principal here and he is one confident man. It is your second year and you guys are feeling good. Whoa. All right. We lost the lights, I'm sorry. There we go, we'll figure it out. Setting the mood here, sorry about that. <laughs> we want this to feel dramatic. We will figure the <laughs> lights out. 
but in just an hour or so, it is going to be full in here. If we come close with our light, we can see completely fine. The guy was just a little embarrassed, but I thought it made it a little more fun. This next one, this is actually from maybe three, four years ago. I was just starting off my career. Every Fat Tuesday, Poonchki Day, usually news crews do live shots, feature live shots from a place making poonchkis. So they do like a poonchki toss. It's a big thing. This was my first time doing it and I was nervous. Four years ago, I think, I got to try making the poonchkis. Take a look at how it went. Number five. Show me how it's done. Okay. You take it and just jab him right on there <laughs> and push yeah. the button, but hang on to him. And they'll just come out. Riley? Yeah. Okay, let me try my hands. Okay. So I can just put them in. There's no ready hole. I can just decide. Nope. Okay. Put it back and press this little lever. Yeah. Okay, oh my gosh, you can feel them, like, filling up. Oh! Oh! Guess what you did! <laughs> oh my god! You Totally forgot about that clip. Once again, that is from when I first started reporting I was living in Northern Michigan. Watching it back now, um, there's a lot there. There's a lot there, I'll say that. Number six, it's a classic. I'd like to think this has to happen to a lot of people who work in TV news. In my excuse, I was told I was going to get a standby because I was sending something. Um, I didn't get the standby. The show just ended. I'm back at my desk. Pretty self explanatory. Say, so I hate to see it. Number eight. This was about two years ago when I started the position I have now. In retrospect, I could have handled this. <laughs> in a lot cooler, calmer, better way. Accident organization is calling on people of all ages to come out to their 2019 walk to end Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's Association says... In retrospect, just slowly going like this. Not the best way to handle that. <laughs> I probably would just duck out of the frame now, but I think I just started anchoring at my new place and I was nervous and younger. You live, you learn. But there you are, those are eight of my top TV news bloopers. I've been doing my career for just over four years, hoping to have 40 some years left. So I'm sure I have 40 some videos to come just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the part of the video where I shamelessly ask you if you wanna like, uh, give it a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Yeah, go Google more news bloopers and make fun of more news people. Bye.